All right, we're back with the breaking news on the release of Rudy Giuliani's mugshot. You see it there, his mugshot after his surrender in Georgia. We're joined now by our legal and political experts. Uh, and Caitlin, let me get back to you. You're on the scene for us uh, in Atlanta. Uh, you're there at the courthouse. Uh, this was a very, very busy day there for Giuliani and other key Trump allies. Update our viewers. It has been, Wolf, and that's because the key people around Donald Trump after the election are now being arrested. They have gone to the jail. They have had their bonds negotiated. They have been had in the jail, have been fingerprinted, had their mud shots taken, had their information processed, spent some time inside that detention center, and then been released to await trial. And as we see these mugshots and look at these numbers for bond agreements, uh, it becomes uh, quite clear how significant this is because Rudy Giuliani has never had a picture of himself taken like this before. We also had Sidney Powell, another top lawyer from the Trump campaign in the jail today being arrested, having her mugshot taken as well. Jenna Ellis, another as well. And when you look at these, bond agreements, you see the significance of these people. Rudy Giuliani's bond being set at $150,000, Sidney Powell's being set as $100,000, Jenna Ellis at $100,000, Donald Trump, of course, at $200,000. That is a much steeper bond than others, uh, more lower level people around Trump or were helping him after the election were facing. And so that is quite a uh, significant, stunning moment to have now that these 19 people have been uh, charged and many of them, most of them have been arrested, gone into the jail and now will proceed to trial. The two who have not, that we truly are waiting to see what happens and we don't know exactly what will play out for, uh, are Mark Meadows and Jeffrey Clark, two former administration officials. A judge has just said uh, that Jeffrey Clark is not going to be able to avoid uh, have, being arrested. He is going to have to either report self-surrender by Friday or will face arrest from uh, an arrest warrant from the district attorney here in Georgia. And so Clark Meadows both trying to hold off their arrest this week. Uh, and it is not a good sign for them if they were thinking they were not going to be making it to Georgia so far. Yeah, lots going on indeed. Stand by, Caitlin. I want to bring in uh, Caroline as well. Uh, Caroline, does all this indicate to you that prosecutors see Giuliani as a central player in this alleged conspiracy? Absolutely, Wolf. I mean, if you if you just read the indictment, I mean, he clearly comes up a lot. You know, it's it's the great irony, really, that we're seeing Giuliani's mugshot here being, you know, he's being now prosecuted under a statute, a RICO statute, very similar to the one he really pioneered in New York to, you know, prosecute mob bosses and the Gambino uh, crime family, yeah, banana sure. crime family, things like that. You know, Rice yeah, Street is, is a far cry from his Manhattan, uh, you know, Madison Avenue apartment. Um, I think what he's really going to run into trouble here is this is where the rubber meets the road. He can say all he wants that he had a genuine belief that the election was stolen, just like, you know, John Eastman advanced that sort of theory yesterday. It's not it's not a legal defense that will hold up in court. Um, and I, I think he's um, going to be hard pressed to find any, you know, more uh, real realistic legal defenses in this case. And Gloria, let me get your thoughts, because it, it really is striking to see this mugshot of Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York, the former U.S. attorney mm -hmm. for the Southern District chief U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York. What impact will that have, this visual, especially for Trump supporters? Well, I think Trump supporters are going to rally around uh, Rudy Giuliani. This whole thing, when if you take a step back and think of it, and think of the last years, this is, this is Shakespearean. This is something where you have, you know, the, the king, who is Donald Trump and his chief sort of court jester, lawyer, uh, uh, both being indicted on very, very serious charges and both deciding that the way to play this case is out in the public because it is the public adoration uh, that they think will help get them through this. But as you were just saying, you know, their, their case was denied in more than 60 courts and today, Giuliani himself made the case again about the weaponization of the Justice Department. And this whole notion that he and Donald Trump and others are trying to play out, which is, we are the only things standing between you 
and an authoritarian state that is going to come and get you. And instead of uh, trying to be people who were saying, look, you know, this was a, an invalid election and Joe Biden's not president, shouldn't be president, um, what they're saying is, you know, we were trying to save you from an illegal election. And they're, they're trying to try this case in public. And the question is, will it work?